Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for July. This is a general reading. Whatever comes up, comes up. You know, my readings are usually love readings, so we'll see what happens. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, just take what resonates and leave the rest. This is just like a special edition. I'm going to go back to my old ways like as soon as this segment is done. You know, back to my regular readings and blah, blah, blah. I just, for some reason, felt like doing it like this this time. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of July. Two of Pentacles, movement, choices, and decisions. This is about making decisions in regards to what is going to bring balance to your life. What are you going to do? What do you choose? You have a choice to make. In regards to love, these cards, they are upright. My clarifiers, if they come out reversed, will do reversed, okay? Love. Okay? Emotional withdrawal. Eight of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups. Throat Chakra. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus rules the Throat Chakra. The Chakra of Communication. The Trapped in Fear. Eight of Swords. You guys are scared of love? Is that what's going on here? The tower. Three of wands. Ace of pentacles. And the devil. <laughs> you could be do dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Could be any sign. Could be any sign. But that's what I hear, hat see here so far. I feel as though you have an opportunity for a new beginning, okay? You have an opportunity for a new beginning here with these ones, okay? These are new beginnings that are handed to you from above, handed to you from God, from your higher power. You're being offered a new beginning that you are scared of. You're really, really scared of this new beginning. But it does lead to something solid and fulfilling if you accept it, if you can step out of your head, if you can step out of your cage, you're not really trapped there, but you think you're trapped there. You're letting yourself be trapped there, okay? You have to make a decision. You have to make a decision in regards to whether you want to communicate or not, okay? This is about, you know, what are you what, thinking about your future? What do you want in your future, Pisces? What do you want? Do you want to do you want to have a truce? Do you want to shake hands? Do you want to come together? Do you want to make some compromises? Do you want to work together? I feel as though you may want to communicate, but you're really scared that it could end in disaster. Therefore, you've allowed emotional withdrawal. You're letting your emotions get the best of you. Your fears get the best of you. But you're tempted. There's a lot of temptation here. Okay. Okay, so I see we're tempted here. Tempted. Tempted to communicate. Tempted to offer a new beginning. See, look at the two hands. There's an opportunity, I think, for a partnership here. We have two hands here. We have two hands here. We have two hands here. There's an opportunity to come together with somebody if you could overcome your fears. But there's some sort, this, this devil is addictions.
you could be escaping your fears with addictions and it's allowing you to avoid making this choice, this decision that you need to make. We're going to get some clarifiers. Lies. The devil is lies. This disruption that you are fearing is a lie. You think that this new beginning is going to end in disaster, but that's a lie. What is this? What is this Ace of Cups? You know, this is this is a new offer. This is an offer of love, an opportunity being handed to you from above. And you're gonna have to make you're gonna have to take action if you want it. Somebody has to take action. But that you may feel or the other person may feel like or you may feel somebody feels like they aren't gonna have anything good to say. They aren't, I'm very pessimistic about this. There's a lot of pessimism here. There's, there's, you know, yes, there's a attempt, there's a bond. <sighs> Pisces, there's a karmic bond between you and another person. Okay, there's a karmic bond. Now, this bond is tight. It's a tight bond, okay? I don't know who you're dealing with. You could be, you know... Whew, you know, there's a bond here that is... that is uh, Undeniable, okay? It's undeniable. And you're really scared of it. You're scared of it. You're scared. <laughs> and, you know, you're holding on to it, though. Somebody is really, really holding on to this bond... Okay, and they are unable to let go. They're unable to release, but they're also unable to communicate. And, and it's time to communicate because this is take action, get moving. This is communicate, communicate, communicate. This is the throat chakra. The throat chakra is communication. It's ruled by Taurus. Taurus is the throat chakra and it is communication. I speak, I speak. You have to make a decision whether you, to communicate, basically. Make it, make the move to communicate. Make the move to speak. If, feel free to look up throat chakra. Somebody has to make a move to speak. And they've been resisting. And it's in regards to a connection that is undeniable that you can't release. That you can't let go of. Somebody needs to take action. Swift, swift, fast action. But fear of being rejected. Fear of not being accepted. Fear of disaster is holding you back. But there is an opportunity for something solid and loving. But you have to speak. Communicate, communicate, speak. But that fear has got the best of you and has caused emotional withdrawal. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And it appears that there is some love here. There's an opportunity for love here. And I think it's after a time of independence, after a time of realizing how grateful you are for what you have or for what you had. Perhaps somebody has realized that they didn't put in enough effort that they were being dishonest.
and now they're dissatisfied. There's a level of dissatisfaction here. Somebody in this scenario, whether it's you or the other person, is very dissatisfied with where they're at right now. And because they're, and they're letting their fears hold them back from communicating. Fears are holding somebody back from communicating. But they're unable to release this bond, this connection. I can't release it. I can't. I'm holding on. I'm holding on to this bond. I'm holding on to it. I can't release it. The death card upright is a release. Reverse, I can't release it. And that's a, that there's a lot of discontent and unhappiness. Observation behind the scenes. Fear of, of conflict if you do communicate. Fear of getting hurt again. Another chance may be rejected. I'm afraid that I will be rejected. If I offer my heart. But I would like this togetherness. I would like to work together. But I am reluctant to move forward. Because fear drives I feel like somebody wants another chance with you and maybe you're not letting them. This could go that way as well. Maybe you're not letting them. You're reluctant to see a new approach even though there's love. With the Ace of Cups twice, there is love. There's love. And you know, it, it appears that you guys are rejecting other opportunities because you have been unable to release a connection that you are bound to. There's a, well now we have the Ace of Pentacles twice. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I mean the Ace of we have the Ace of Pentacles twice and the Ace of Cups life. Eleven eleven. When you see eleven eleven, that's your spirit guides, that's the universe trying to push you to follow your intuition. What's your intuition telling you to do, Pisces? You have an opportunity for a solid love commitment. If you would give it a chance and step outside of your fears and communicate. Now, I don't know who this is for. Some of you are focusing on your on your independence right now, but there's love. The thing is, is you you're thinking that the best bet is to just be independent and, and to and to close yourself off emotionally. You're thinking, you know, and that's what you've been you've been going through this period of emotional withdrawal. I'm gonna work on my money. I'm gonna work on my independence. I'm gonna close myself off emotionally. I'm gonna make myself emotionally unavailable, but I still love somebody. So you've stopped putting effort into love. So therefore, there's no growth. There's no growth. No passion. Emotional shutdown. Avoiding the truth. Avoiding your true feelings. Ignoring the truth. This is what this is. Pisces. You ignoring the truth? You ignoring your intuition? What does Pisces need to do? What does Pisces need to do? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, please tell me what Pisces needs to do. Stop playing games. Stop juggling. St 
Stand up. Make a decision. Be strong. Take the lead. This is a family man. This is be responsible. Be practical. Be wise. Make a wise decision. Make a secure decision. Stop hiding, stop hiding your feelings with addictions. Stop, stop riding on the roller coaster. Here we have a little roller coaster. And here we have a roller coaster as well. This is extremes. The temperance card reverse is extremes. And this is too. Okay, this is like a roller coaster back and forth. Stop ignoring the truth. Get a hold of your emotions and stop stalling. You're stalling. And you're letting your emotions get the best of you. Your fears. You may see yourself as a victim at this time, that you're the victim. But that's not practical. You're not passing a test either. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. You're not passing a test. You're being tested here. You're not passing it. It's time to master your emotions and follow your heart. Somebody needs to take a stand. Somebody needs to make a decision. Somebody does. Somebody needs to be strong and make a decision and face their fears in regards to what's going to make them feel stable, what's going to make them feel stable, secure, and loved. There's an opportunity for love and stability here. If somebody could get out of their head and stop ignoring the truth, and stop allowing themselves to be emotionally withdrawn from the truth. Emotionally withdrawn again. Emotionally withdrawn from the truth. Masking, escaping the truth. There's love. There is love here. It's undeniable. But fear trumps it. Fear of rejection, fear of disaster. Anyway, so in July, I feel as though you guys are being called to find your strength. To make a solid decision and to do the right thing. To bring back structure and balance to your life that has been lost. A lot of balance has been lost. Seriously. Things have been chaotic. Things have been a mess. And you, are have, you have an opportunity to fix it all. But it's all about the choices, the decisions, and the moves you make. There's an opportunity for a partnership and an alliance. That leads to love and security and stability. 
If you can step out of your fears, okay? If you can step out. You have to. There's an opportunity that you've been thinking about a lot because we have all these ones. It's on your mind. Constantly on your mind. Constantly. One, 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 one. I mean, they're everywhere. <coughs> but fear is holding you back from taking action. My, my advice is, is to follow your heart. Follow your heart. There's an opportunity for abundance. There's an opportunity for security. And there's an opportunity for love. And you know what you need to do. Communicate. Speak up. In regards to what you want. what I have. I can't change it. Talk to you later.